Hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech. And finally, after a short delay, here we have my top VR headset picks under 2000 rupees or $30. As always, the direct links to buy these headsets can be found in the description below. Now, without any further ado, let's get to the list. The first one's the Procus One VR headset. It uses 242mm lenses that offer a field of view as wide as about 100 degrees. The lenses can be adjusted using these knobs on the top and the sides in case you are myopic or long sighted. Compatibility wise, this headset can house most phones with display sizes ranging from 3.5 to 6 inches. It costs about 1700 rupees and comes with a magnetic clicker for navigation right out of the box. At 2000 rupees, you could get a Bluetooth controller instead of the magnetic clicker. But considering VR apps are designed for use only with a single button, I don't see it being very useful unless it's for non VR purposes. One thing that made me want to try more VR headsets is the build. Don't get me wrong, the quality is really good. It's made of hard plastic and there are magnets over here to make sure the lid doesn't lose the tendency to close tightly over time. Even the cushion to the front is comfortable. But something over here feels wrong. I felt a lot of pressure on my nose after wearing it for about 20 minutes. Or maybe it's just me nitpicking. What I did find comfortable wearing for longer durations is the Erosu Monster VR headset. The entire frame is kinda projected, that makes it a lot more comfortable. But unlike the Procus One VR headset, there's no magnet to the rear, so the lid might become loose or maybe even start falling off with time. That said, everything else is pretty much the same as the previous headset. The compatibility criterion is again a phone with a display size between 3.5 and 6 inches. This headset uses similar 42mm lenses with about 100 degree field of view. They can be adjusted with the knobs on the top. What makes this headset stand apart is the fact that Erosu have a dedicated app for their VR headsets that helps you find a lot of VR content including daydream apps and 360 degree photos and videos. The price? 2000 rupees. For that, you get the headset itself, a magnetic clicker and a Bluetooth controller. The third one on the list is the Aura VR Pro, which is exactly the same as the Monster VR headset. Guys, these headsets are generic ones that are imported, probably from China, and then rebranded and sold, so this didn't come across as a shock to me. Although the overall experience is equally good, where the difference kicks in is the price tag. It costs 1900 rupees, comes with a Bluetooth controller, and not a magnetic clicker. I'm sure having to connect your phone to the controller every single time isn't something you'd love to do. A clicker on the other hand doesn't involve any such hassle. And like I mentioned earlier in this video, most VR apps and games are designed to work only with a single button. So I guess there's no reason why one would choose this over the Monster VR headset, even though they are identically built. Honorary mention, the Mi VR Play from Xiaomi. I reviewed this a while back, I'll leave a card here, check it out if you want more info. The short version, it costs just 1000 rupees. While there are trade-offs in terms of compatibility, build quality, the ability to adjust the lenses, and even the overall experience, I feel it's still a solid buy at that price. A point of note, all these headsets are compatible with Google Cardboard, meaning be it games or 360 degree videos, you don't have to worry about running out of content. My verdict, if VR is something that interests you, then shelling out 2000 rupees on a Procus or a Monster headset is an investment you won't regret anytime soon. So that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if there's any other top tech series you're particularly interested in, please go leave a comment below, I'll try to make it happen. And make sure to subscribe to C4E Tech if you haven't already. Also do this to get notified as soon as a video goes live here on C4E Tech. Thanks a lot for watching, this is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have an amazing day.